here. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come, Silver. Let's go, be close. I am Silver. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were in the vicinity of Frontier Town, where they had made a number of good friends, including Sheriff Taylor and Doc Drummond. They were on their way to town from their camp in the Enchanted Hills when a sudden storm broke. The heavens seemed to open, lightning flashed, and thunder cracked and rolled through the valley near the Overland Trail. Oh, the masked man and his Indian friend sought refuge beneath an overhanging ledge and waited until the worst of the storm had passed. It's passing, Toto. Ah, thunder far off now. Trail plenty bad. The Wells Fargo stage will likely be delayed. But I think Scout and Silver can get over the trail. Well, we try. All right, tighten your cinch. Steady there, Silver. What's that? Steady, steady, Silver. That's not thunder. The blast. Get back. Hug the wall. Look out for those rocks. Yeah. Tons of rock blown loose. And what they blast? I don't know. Let's get out from beneath this overhang and see what's left of the ledge up above. <coughs> Stage trail up there. Trail was up there. But not now, Toto. Ah, uh, all broke away. Yes. We go up there and see what make blast? We'll investigate that later on, Toto. First, we'd better get to town and let Wells Fargo know that the trail's gone. I have to make a new trail before another stage can go through. Well, that's right. We got news for Two Gun Taylor, too. Yes. Sheriff will be interested in what we have to tell him. Steady, Silver. Uh, how we go to town? Have to take the long way. Past Whistling Springs Geyser and through Sagebrush Hollow. You ready? Uh-huh. Be ready. Steady, big fella. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. In town, the rain had turned the street into ankle-deep mud. 
Dave Neal, driver of the stagecoach, stood watching while the horses were being hitched. Be sure everything's tight. It'll be a tough run through this storm. Dave, don't try it. It's too dangerous. You tend to be in shotgun guard. But, Dave, If I... you're afraid, go on in the office and tell Andrews to send me another guard. It's not that I'm afraid, Dave. It's the risk to the passengers. They don't want to go on until morning. Then tell them to take the next stage, next week. Mr. Andrews is willing to postpone the trip if you think the trail might be dangerous. I'll talk to Andrews. Be sure those horses are hitched tight. That'll be all right. Here's the driver now. Driver, I understand the trail is dangerous in wet weather. The trail's dangerous in any kind of weather, unless you got a good driver. Are you... Are you going to try to get through tonight? Of course. I've never backed out of a run in my life, have I, Mr. Andrews? Well, Dave, maybe tonight is... Is uh... what? Well, it's a bad night. There's some bad places in the trail. I can drive it blindfolded. <clears throat> I wish we could wait until morning. Young man, I'd be willing to pay extra if you'd wait. Mr. Andrews will approve. I told the passengers it was up to you, Dave. We're going through tonight. There's a special cargo. The lives of these passengers is more important than any cargo, Dave. Be sure you know what you're doing. The stage is ready. Yes, so am I. All right, all aboard. Young man, I'm putting my life in your hands. And I. We all are. If anything happens, young man, you'll be to blame. The stage left Frontier Town with a determined young driver handling the reins. It was a little later when Doc Drummond sat in Sheriff Taylor's office. Rain like this might go on all day and night, Sheriff. Yeah, well, it might, Doc. Ah, me. I'm in for trouble. Kind of tough wading through mud to call on your patience, huh, Doc? That's not the worst of it. No? The worst comes when I get home. Tildy is touchy about her rugs. When I track in mud... Hold it, hold it, Doc. Wait. Look out there. Look, the mask man. Masked? By thunder it is. There's a man that weather don't hinder. Dad right it, Doc. If only I could get the Lone Ranger to settle down and be a deputy. You must have something important to come here in a storm like this. Well, glad to see you. Hello, Sheriff. How are you, Doc? Me? I'm all right. I'm glad to see you. Sheriff, you better send word to Wells Fargo. The trail's out. Trail's out? Yes. Well, the trail runs close to the edge of the ravine at Powderhorn River. The stage can't get through. Great day that a stage due to leave in a minute or so. I better hurry. Will the stage leave in weather like this? Today's stage will. Young Dave Neal is bound and determined to take her through. Got a wad of money, 15000 is being sent for the bank. I better spread the word real fast. But, Sheriff, you're too late. Dave Neal left for the stage about half an hour ago. Left? Dad ratted Andrews, what sort of station agent are you? Why'd you let him go? If you knew how eager Dave is, you wouldn't ask that. He had a couple of anxious passengers set out with them to cash and the shotgun guard. Said weather hadn't ever stopped him before and wouldn't stop him now. Oh, you fat-headed fool. Why didn't you hold him back? Weather like this and you I had... tried to... We've got to get after him. Try to stop him before he hits the place where the trail is gone. He's gone. How long ago? Half an hour. Try to overtake him. Come on, Tullo. Uh, Very big fella. I'll follow you. Once in the... Get him Get up there, Dusty! Get along, Blackie! Get up! Get up there! It's all going rain. Can't hardly see the trail. I don't like it. Oh, what's the matter, guard? You scared? Well, there's nothing to laugh about. Take a look at that trough. What would happen to us if we went over? When the storm's turning the trail into gumbo, we could slip off the edge as easy as nothing. We'll make it. Get up there! Come on, get up! Trail's mighty close to the edge after we round the turn. I've been handling stages on this division long enough to know what I can do and what I can't. Yeah, but how many times you drove in weather like this? Listen to that. You said the rain and let up, but it's getting worse. Come on, Dusty. Put soldiers lay into it. The superintendent didn't want any delay with the cash we're carrying. More delay, more likely road agents to get wind of it. No one said you had to take the stage out, though. They asked you if you figured you could make it. 
You've said no, you've got to wait until tomorrow. If you don't like it, climb down and walk. Get up! Get along there! Look ahead. Look at that curb. Oh, gone if I don't have a notion to walk. Forget it. You figure you can make that there curb? Sure, I figure to do it. You can't. Mud. It's nothing but mud. The trail slants toward the drop. If we start slipping, it's going to be... Go on, shut up and let me handle the reins. We ought to turn back. Get up there. Pull up, Lassus. Get up. Come on there, you horse. Get up. Stop him. Give me them reins. Hey, let go. Let go of the reins, you fool. Hang on tight. We'll never make the curve. Yes, we will. We're making it right now. Hang on. Dave. Dave, look ahead. The trail's gone. There's no trail. Oh, oh there. Hold on. It's all over. Here we go. Come on. accident we ever had around here. It was a long drop, Sheriff. The passengers were killed instantly. How about the guard and driver? Just looking at the guard. I saw you when I rode up. Is he... Dead? Driver not dead. No? Come on, Sheriff. Here, young driver. <laughs> Him alive. Steady there, fella. It's my fault. Oh, my fault. I couldn't... Why, he's raving. How about him, fellow? Well, him not seem hurt bad. <laughs> I couldn't see him. No bones broken. Downright curious how he's, things work out. Neil come through without even a busted arm, and all the rest the killed guard. by the fall. I wonder if it's safe to move him. Can't do much for him here in the rain. We can rig up a litter and take him to Doc Drummond's house. Well, that's what we better do. I don't know how to fix the litter, Sheriff. Meanwhile, you might see if you can find the cargo in the wreckage. I'll go on little chance, but I'll have a try. In the home of Dr. Drummond, the young stage driver rolled and tossed on a bed while hallucinations tortured his fevered brain. Voices seemed to whisper, haunting voices that came out of darkness. Stage, I can't see the rain. Dave, Neil, you killed us. No, no, no. Dave, Neil, you killed us, murdered us, murdered us. No, I didn't, no. Dave, Neil, you killed us, murdered us, murdered us. No, no, it's a lie, no. Dave, you killed us, murdered us. It's a lie, I didn't. No, no, no. no I didn't, I didn't. Oh, poor lad, Doc. What's the matter with him? Is he loco or what? Hallucination, Sheriff. He blames himself for the tragedy. But will he get well? well? It's hard to say. He's been like this for two no. days. Not exactly, Sheriff. He sobs and tosses in his sleep. When he wakens, he's all right, except for blaming himself. Well, I tried to tell him that it wasn't his fault. But he wouldn't pay no attention to me. Just kept saying that the guard tried to stop him. That he should have known better than to try to take the stage through in that kind of weather. Oh, it seems quiet now. Yes, we leave him. Come into the other room. You, the mask man. How's oh, Neil? Just the same, but where'd you come from? Tell him I've been looking around, Doctor. Around where? The place where the stage went over the ledge. Sheriff, the other day when we came to town, I intended to tell you about a certain crook that came here. Yeah? Why didn't you tell me? Didn't have a chance. We rushed to the Wells Fargo office and from there to the Overland Trail. After that, we were quite busy. I sure were. What about that crook you mentioned? I think he has the money that was shipped aboard the stage. Yeah? He has? Sheriff, you didn't find it when you looked. No. Todd and I didn't find it either. Well, that's easy to understand. Lots of stuff from the stage was washed downstream. Nevertheless, I think the money was stolen by the crooks who blew away the stage trail. I tried to tell Dave Neal that someone blasted the trail. Yes, so He insists that the accident was his fault. And it was my fault. What? Well, you're out of bed. I'm out of bed. I'm leaving here. I'm going away. Now, hold on. I'm leaving, I tell you. I'm no better than a murderer. Everyone around Frontier Town knows it. Where are you going? Who cares? Just a minute. Take your hands off me. Let me go. You're going, but I'm going with you. We're going to expose the men who were to blame for that accident. The men who stole the cash from Wells Fargo. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. It took a great deal of persuasion to convince Dave Neal to accompany the Lone Ranger and Tonto on a trip through Sagebrush Hollow, past Whistling Springs Geyser, and to the canyon where huge rocks blown from the rim lay in confusion. Dave, Tonto and I were right here, just a few hours before you had the accident. What about it? We heard the blast. The explosion that blew hundreds of tons of rock from the rim up there. The sheriff tried to tell me there'd been a blast, but... I thought he was only trying to make me feel better. No, it was true. Well, then... Well, then I'm not all to blame for the deaths of the passengers and the guard. I don't think you're to blame. Everyone in town thinks so. They'll change their minds when they learn the truth. But how? How will they learn the truth? Steady, Silver. What's the matter? Oh, Silver nervous. Steady there, boy. Are you thinking of the blast the other day? Steady, Silver, I... He must have a look. Man up there. Hey, he's shooting. This way, get back. Shooting at us. Get beneath the ledge. Hurry. But you, what about you? Join you in a minute. Give that man something to think about. Did you get him? No, but I don't think he'll stick his head out to fire on us again. Well, who was it? Why'd he shoot at us? Dave, I think he's one of the men who came to Frontier Town to steal $15,000. Oh, but shooting at us. He I... must realize that we suspect something. Why, they had horn. That gives me an idea. Dave, how far would you go to prove that a crook was the cause of that accident? How far? I'd go all the way. Just tell me what to do. Good. You're as game as that. You just listen to what I tell you. It was dusk when Dave Neal returned to the home of Doc Drummond. The kindly old physician smiled a hearty welcome. Well, Dave, by golly, I'm glad to see you back. Then his smile faded as he realized that the young stage driver was more grim than ever. I won't be here long. But, lad, what... I just came to get my guns, that's all, Doc. Your, your guns? Yeah. They're here on this pig. But, Dave, why do you need guns? What's the trouble? You know the trouble, Doc. I've heard things all over town. Everyone says I'm no better than a killer. I'm a murderer that the law can't hang. Oh, nonsense. It's being said that if I hadn't have been so bullheaded about taking the stage out in bad weather, there'd have been no accident. Oh, dad ratted, Dave. You've been listening to them gossipy old women like Henrietta Knox. Oh, no, Doc. Everyone says the same thing. So I'm pulling stakes. I'm leaving. I'm hitting for some place where I'm not known. Now, Dave, listen to an old man. Sorry, Doc. But the Lone Ranger... You spent some time with him. You went to the canyon with him. Didn't the man say... Nothing the Lone Ranger, or you, nor anyone else can say will change my plans. Why not wait until tomorrow? It'll be dark in half an hour. Nope. If you want to leave here, wait until morning. The Wells Fargo will start on the eastbound run. I'll buy you a ticket. So long, Doc. Thanks for everything. The sheriff and Big Bill Andrews, agent for Wells Fargo, were in the office of the stage line with a former driver named Jensen. Yeah, Jensen? <laughs> We've had a lot of changes around here since you left. Guess I've seen most of them, Andrews. You aiming to stay long in town? Well, that depends, Sheriff. I... <laughs> well, to be frank, 
I'd like to go back to work for Wells Fargo. You, Jensen? Oh, why not? Well, thought you'd given up driving. Gone in for ranching somewhere in the panhandle. Now, that didn't suit me. A man gets driving into his blood. How about it, Andrews? You need a man? Well, eh, the fact is, I, I do. I I don't know when Dave Neal will be coming back to work, if ever. I... You trust him after that accident he had? Well, I'll tell Wells you. Wells Fargo was more particular in my day. Jensen, I've got a stage out back. It's due to start east in the morning, but it'll have to take the old south trail due to the overland needing repair. Andrews, I'll be glad to handle the reins. I... Why, Dave Neal... Howdy. Neil, I didn't expect to see you here so soon. No? Well, hello, Jensen. What are you doing around here? Came back to see about a job. My job, huh? Well... Forget it. No hard feelings. The sheriff, you and Andrews are wanted outside. A couple of friends of yours are there to see you. Who? Why don't they come in? They want you to step out. All right. Come on, Andrews. Well, I'll on. wait here and have a talk with Jensen. Right. I don't see where we got a glove. Find my job. Come on. Well, Neil, I've been hearing lots of talk about you. Yeah, Jensen, I expect you have. But uh, you won't have to hear much more talk about me. No? How's that? Because things are going to be changed by tomorrow morning... I've got a few plans. The curious thing is, they include you. Me? What do you mean? You will see. A gun. Put that down, you fool. Steady, don't move fast. Sore because I aim to take your job, is that it? Maybe. Now, don't try gunplay. Remember, the sheriff's right outside. My friends are taking care of the sheriff. Andrews as well. Your friends? Yeah. They're taking care of him so you and I can take a ride. You aim to drive stage again, huh? Well, you, you better take a lesson first. Sort of brush up on the way to handle a six in hand. See here, what are you up to? Get up. But I, I, I said get up on your feet, Jensen. That's it. Now go out the back door. The stage is all ready and the horses are waiting. Now look, Dave, I'm... Shut don't... up and walk. Open the door. All right, go on. There's the stage. Now climb up to the seat. Where are we going? You're, you're loco, stealing a coach like I this. I said and... climb aboard. What? Yeah. Now hand me them reins. Uh, here. You'd uh, like to know where we're going, Jensen? Yeah. You recollect the Overland Trail? You recollect where the stage I was driving went over? I... I recollect. Well... Well, that's just where we're headed for. Get up there! Get along with you! Get up! Come on! Get up there! With Dave Neal flying the whip and shouting to the horses as he had done so many times before, the huge stage went lumbering out of town and through the night on the Overland Trail. Get up! Get up, boys! Get up there! Jensen perched on the seat beside Dave, held tight as the coach rolled and swayed. You're out of your head, Neil. We're getting into the hills already. The place where the trail caved in is just a few miles ahead. You better rain up. Come on there! Get along! Get up! Get up there! You hear me? You gotta pull up somewhere this side. We can't get through. The mountain trail can't be used. Get up, boys! Get up there! Neil, Neil, listen to me. Listen! You don't know what you're doing. Well, what's got into you? What's got into me? Why, you sneaking, murdering schemer. It was you that blasted out the trail so as we turn over that day. And tonight I'll pay you back. Get up there. No, no. You were waiting for the stage to go off the trail. When it did, you stole the cash. You're wrong, Neil. You're wrong. Get up. Come on, boys. Don't get up. Lying to you. It's not so. I you tried you. to kill me again today. You fired on me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Jensen, tonight you're finished. You, you must be loco. Yeah, well, why wouldn't I be? Passengers and guard killed and I get the blame? No one will have a thing to do with me. They call me a killer. Like to see me hung. And all because of you, no, Jensen. No, wait. I've been done for ever since that accident, Jensen. Now the two of us are going to go out together. Get up. Come on, boys. Get up. Get up there. Urged on by their driver, the straining horses thundered along the trail. The trail met and followed a canyon that became deeper as the trail climbed higher. Jensen's panic steadily mounted. There's Needle Rock. Right. Get up. Get along. Look at the curve. 
the place where the trails broke through is just beyond. Sure. Keep moving, boy. Get we'll up. We'll be killed. We'll be killed. Stop. Stop, I tell you. Oh, 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 that's the way, Dave. I, 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 I knew you'd stop. I knew you'd... Shut up and listen to me, you skunk. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to live for. I've got no job, or friends, or money. It's a case of go out quick or let out for the Badlands and wait for starvation. Well, I'm taking the quick way. The same way the guard and the passengers went the other day. Dave, let me out. L- l- let me off the stage. And Sit still or I'll blow your head off. But I tell you... I'm that... taking the quick way, Jensen. You're taking it with me. But, but I'm trying to tell You're the you. one that wrecked the trail. You smashed the stage and stole the cash. Now, Dave, that's not true. It's true, and I know it's true, but I can't prove it. So I don't aim to try, Jensen. I'm taking you with me. Dave, I'm trying to tell if you If that... I had cash enough to buy a farm or something, it'd be different. As it is, I got nothing but starvation. Well, Jensen, I, I stopped just to let you know why you're going to die. Now I... Wait... Think... Wait, Dave, listen. For what? You you, you said something about cash. Maybe I can fix that. Why? I, I, I've got cash. Sure you got cash. $15,000 cash from the stage you wrecked. Only you won't get the chance to spend it. All right. No, 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 Dave, hold on. I, I, I don't want to die. Neither did them others. You've got to listen. Neil, Neil, I'll, I'll divide up with you. I'll give you half of all I got, Dave. There, there was 15000 That means over 7000 just for you. 7000 You mean that? I do. I, I give you my word. Just don't kill me, Dave. You admit I, I was right about you blasting the trail? You were right. That's just what I wanted to hear. Huh? You better get down, Jensen. It'll do you good to stretch your legs. <laughs> You don't look to me like you feel so good. <laughs> so you'll pay over half of what you stole, huh? I'll pay, I tell you, I... We thought you'd break, Jensen. Come ask me. Right, and here are some others. The sheriff, Andrew. They were riding with us right inside the stage. Well, they could hear everything that was said. We heard it all right. <clears throat> Dave, you figured out a way to make this skunk talk in front of witnesses. You can believe me, he's going to get everything he's got coming. With full measure. Wait, I, I, I never confessed to anything. Save I... your breath. We heard plenty. Jensen, you'll hang. Neil, you got my word everybody's going to hear the truth about this. But wait, that mass man. Listen, Andrews. We heard from all we needed to, Jensen. Here comes Toto with my horse. Right up here, Toto. Your idea sure worked first thing. I bet it did, Dave. Say, uh, you coming back to town with us and this crook? You'll not need me any longer. Come on, Toto. Uh, big fella. We go back to the hills. Get him up. Come on. Oh, that man. That mask man. Yeah, Jensen. He's the man you fired at. You were one more crook that made the mistake of shooting at the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.